Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. 14 new COVID-19 deaths. 14 new New Hampshire long-term care facility outbreaks announced. There have been more than 28 thousand known coronavirus cases in New Hampshire, officials say. Fourteen new deaths were attributed to COVID-19 on Thursday as community transmission of the coronavirus continues at high levels in the state. Of the 14 victims, 13 were associated with long-term care facilities. It was also learned Thursday that New Hampshire House Speaker Dick Hinch died Wednesday of COVID-19. There have been 584 total deaths in the state since early March. Lori Shippeton, Commissioner of the New Hampshire Department of Health and Human Services said three outbreaks in long-term care facilities had been closed, but there are 14 new outbreaks, meaning there are 30 active outbreaks in the state. And here is a look at the list of those long-term care facility outbreaks. And as you can see, the list of the long-term care facility outbreaks in the state of New Hampshire right now. And if you want to see that list again, we will share this link with you on the Riley King Network Facebook page right after this news report. According to health officials, it is nearly impossible to track exactly how the virus first gets into a facility, but once it does, it runs rampant due to the fact that residents cannot distance themselves from their caregivers, but they said the rise in cases and deaths at these facilities are linked to community transmission. Do we know how it gets in? No, Shibitin said. It's more likely than not a an, an symptomatic staff member brought it in unwillingly, but it also could be asymptomatic visitors or residents going out to a hospital and being exposed as well or at a doctor's appointment. There have, there are 248 COVID-19 patients currently hospitalized in the state, the highest such number to date. Hospitals have begun to make changes as COVID-19 continues to put strains on healthcare systems. Some hospitals have stated to pull back a little bit on some of their elective surgeries and procedures. We've heard over the past week. We commend them for doing that. That's a tough decision and a decision that was has to be made, Governor Chris Sununu said. Sununu said officials could open five surge facilities within about 48 hours if hospital capacity becomes a concern. Luckily, we're not there yet, but we do 
stand at the ready, Sununu said. In the past week, 40 Gremit Staters have died of COVID-19, according to Dr. Benjamin Chan, the state epidemiologist. Chan announced there were 695 new diagnoses, including 382 patients who tested positive through PCR testing and 313 cases confirmed through antigen testing. He said the state has seen about 750 to 800 new infections daily over the past last week. There are 6,303 active COVID-19 cases in the state. More than a quarter of the state's 28,000 plus known cases since the beginning of the pandemic have been announced in December 7,430. Chan, who said the combined test positivity rate, which takes into account PCR and antigen test over the past seven days, is about 9% talk at length Thursday about community transmission of the virus. Without a high level of compliance for mask use, social distancing, avoiding social gatherings, avoiding travel, especially around the holidays, the rates of infection and spread within our community will likely increase, Chan said. He said that fewer than 5% of the state's population has been exposed to COVID-19 and developed some level of immunity, meaning that a large percentage of the state is still subtle to the virus. Without high compliance to mitigate measures, the numbers are likely to continue to go up at a concerning rate, Chan said. It continues to be a collective responsibility of individuals, businesses, communities to protect our institutions and protect the vulnerable individuals in our state. And that is it for this morning's news report right here on the Riley King Network. Thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you back here later on today for another news report. Goodbye everyone.